Right then guys, welcome back. It's the Food Troll and it's another street food review. Now then guys, for today's review, we are once again on Linthorpe Road. We haven't done a fish and chip review since we did one on Friday. If you haven't checked that out, whoosh, should be a link at the top here. Click on there and watch that review. The experience we had there, them fish and chips were absolutely amazing. Now, we've come to a place called Captain K's, Ali Shaw. Captain K's, Linthorpe Road. Are these guys gonna keep up the tradition of serving our quality fish and chips like what we got down at Fridays? Or are these just gonna be pretendies? Let's have a look. What did we get, Ali? Let's have a look here. We got ourselves some fish and chips. Pot of curry sauce. And good old cream soda. Now, this all came to us total of nine pound and ten. It's a small cod fish and chips. So straight away, it's a bit pricey for me. Nine pound ten, Linthorpe Road prices. You got shops all over the place. They have to be a bit more competitive. Service, he was all right. He was on his own. Poor lad was grafting away. They're open six days a week. 11 till 10. I think that's what he said. Riley, let's have a look at these fish and chips. Are you ready? Let's have a look at them. Whoa, hey! Now then, I asked the guy what potatoes he are using. He said, we're using the good ones. I went, no, what they called? He said, the good ones. So, let's start off with the chips, Ali. Slightly undercooked. He said to me, I said, how long will it be? He said, 10 minutes. If you're gonna be serving out quality fish and chips, it's gonna take longer than 10 minutes. So, it's a good chip, don't get me wrong. It's got a good potato content on it. Good skin. However, a bit undercooked. Right. Ali fish, cod fish. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Let's put it out this way. I want to hear that crisp on the butter. Get close in. Uh, not really doing it. Can you see that? Oh, mate, bad news. The butter, can you see? Actually, that batter has got a good taste on it. It's crispy. There's no air pockets as well between the fish and the batter as well. It's clung onto the cod. Now what I'm looking for the cod, I'm looking for light, fluffy pieces of cod. Get in here, Ali. This seems to be a bit soggy yeah let's have a look at this piece you can see the butter there see how soggy that is now that's a good piece of fish sometimes it's like being a fisherman you gotta get stuck in find them right pieces of cod but for me the whole piece of cod has to taste amazing not just certain pieces and the batter has got to complement that cod as well. In this case, the batter on its own. It is a bit greasy. You know what, Ali? I think we spoiled ourselves down at Friday's Parliament Road. Now, wherever I go, Whenever I grab a portion of fish and chips, I'm always expecting Fridays, Fridays, Fridays. But you know what? It's never going to happen. You've got to be realistic sometimes. 
Let's have a look at the garlic. Garlic? Not garlic, sorry, Ali. Let's have a look at the curry sauce. Have a look here. Uh, can you see them lumps in it? Uh. If you go into my Friday's video, the opening shot is me pouring out some curry sauce. Just look how smooth and fluid that curry sauce comes out. This is just coming out in lumps. But you know what? Let's try it. Let's see what it tastes like. They chucked in a piece of lemon as well, Ali. That was good of him. You got a lemon as well. To be fair, that curry sauce, it doesn't look that nice, but it's got a good taste on it. Nice curry taste. We're gonna continue the argument. Curry sauce or gravy? I always go curry sauce with fish and chips. Always. In a way, I'm glad. In a way, I'm glad that we've done a fish and chip review because we haven't done one. Like I said, it's only the second one on the channel. I'm a big fan of fish and chips. But it's so hard to find a decent, a decent portion of fish and chips. It's hard. You got mother hubbards down the road. I don't know what's happened to them, guys. Whenever I drive past, shut us down. So maybe they're closed, I don't know. But whenever I go past here, that place is always closed. That was my first place I was gonna review. And then I clocked Captain K's. I thought, let's give this place a whirl. You're probably gonna ask now, food troll, was it worth it? Was it worth £9.10? To be fair, £9.10, a bit too steep for me. With Fridays only down the corner, down there, left, right hand side, for me, it's going to be Fridays all day long. But this place, Decent effort by Captain Case. Very decent effort. Drop down your prices. Up to there, it's so soggy. Drop down your prices. Clean the place up a bit as well because it could do with a bit of cleaning there. The tables are all sticky. Maybe get a cleaner in. Try to keep the place clean as well. I've come early, I've come opening time. He's only just opened the poor lad, and then who just pops in? The food troll. But the food troll always says, when you open your shop, till the time you close, you gotta be providing quality, quality, quality. Always, from the minute you open, from the minute you close. That's why I like clocking these places early. I like to get in there, get in there early, and see what sort of food they're providing. Now then, score time for Captain K's Fish and Chips. Linthorpe Road, as you can see, it's dull, it's damp, it's cold. As I sip on my old bar cream soda, takes me back to my junior school days. Oh, it's nice that. I'm gonna give Captain K's fish and chips a solid, respectable 7.4. Captain K's fish and chips, maybe drop the price down a bit. Have a look at your batter on the fish. But in the meantime, Captain Case, you guys have officially been food troll certified. Now then guys, join me for the next one. If you like the content, why not hit the like button, hit the share, hit the subscribe or subscribe or share first, whichever one it is you do. Do what you can. If you like the content, why not join us on our journey as we travel up and down the country looking for them little hidden gems and making sure that they are providing quality food for quality customers. Take care. See you on the next one.